Welcome to our second video on the metric system. Today we're going to be focusing on converting units from smaller to larger or from larger to smaller. As a review in the metric system, we do have base units. This includes meters for distance, liters for liquid volume, Celsius when it comes to temperature, and grams in mass. Now these are base units. What we mean by that is we can add prefixes if the increment is really large or if it's really small. And so we have a couple of prefixes on the side that are common. Kilo, hecto, deca, and you see two spellings there. I've seen both. However, most commonly it's D-E-C-A. We have deci, centi, and milli. Milli is our smallest. Now these are just a few of the many. Uh, you may have heard of giga or micro or macro. These are also prefixes, just not as common in our basic communication in science class. Now we're going to take a look at the metric ladder. This is a tool that we're going to use to convert easily from one unit to another. So if we have two meters, we're going to be able to convert to centimeters or kilometers, and we're going to use the metric ladder. Now we're going to fill in our ladder here from largest prefix to smallest. And we said we're going to be using these six, kilo being the largest, milli being the smallest. Now at the top of the ladder, we go from the biggest, and in the middle, we're going to have our base, and that's our base units where we would put our meters, liters, grams, and then we have milli at the end as the smallest. Here we are at a fresh template. Now a lot of people are asking, how do we set up this ladder? I don't have it in front of me as a tool. This is something you can create pretty quickly, and there's a good sentence to help us remember it. King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. And that sentence should help us with the first letter corresponding with each of steps. So we have kilo, hecto for Henry, deca for died. Now by, we usually write base unit. Some people will say King Henry died by unusually drinking chocolate milk. Um, that would just stand for base unit. We have deci, centi, and milli. And there you have it. Now we have the entire letter set up, ladder set up, and we can go ahead and convert all of our units, whether we're going down the steps or we're going up the steps on the ladder. Now with the ladder, we're going to actually convert some numbers. But we got to remember that our base stands for liter, gram, or meter. So if we make a mention of that, say we have a number such as 1.5 grams, and we need to convert that to milligrams, and we know we're going to be going down the ladder. Okay, if we're at 1.5 grams and we're going to kilograms, we're going to be moving up the ladder. And that changes what we do. So starting with 1.5 grams, say we're going to move down to milligrams. We're going to be going one, two, three steps down the ladder. And this is how it's going to work. If we move to the right or down, we're going to move our decimal point one spot to the right. So instead of 1.5, we're going to have our decimal point after the 5. So it's going to be 1, 5, decimal point, okay, and it would be decigrams. I'm going to leave out the G so we don't get confused. So we're at decigrams. We're going to move to centigrams. Since we don't have a number here, we're going to put a 0. It's going to be 1, 5, 0, and the decimal point is going to fall. So it actually did move one spot. It's like multiplying by 10 every time we go down the the ladder. And we need to go one more spot, so we move the decimal point one more spot to the right. So down the ladder, decimal point to the right. Now say we want to go the opposite direction. We want to go from 1.5 grams, and we want to go up. The decimal point is actually going to move to the left. So 1.5 decimal point is going to move between the 1 and 5, it's going to move to the left, so it's going to be 0.15 decagrams. If I want to move to the left again, now we run into that problem. We don't have a number there, so we need to add a zero. So it's going to be zero, one, five, and our decimal was here. We're going to move it to the left side. Since we're going up, the numbers get smaller, and we do that one more time, zero, zero, 
one five the decimal point was here we gonna we're gonna move it one decimal spot to the left and I hope you see that 1.5 grams going down decimal point moves one spot to the right where you go up decimal spot so 0 0.0015 kilograms is the exact same thing as saying 1500 milligrams Here we are at the practice problems, and we'll start with first number one, and we want to change 17 meters to centimeters. And I'm going to go ahead and write that right above where we need it. So we have 17 meters, which is our base, and we need to convert down here to centimeters. Now, the question with the decimal point. If we have 17, where's the decimal point? It's actually right after the whole number, and we have an endless supply of zeros afterwards. 17. With no decimal points, the same as 17 decimal with the zeros. If we know we're on this step, we need to move down two steps on our ladder. We know we're going to move the decimal point to the right. One, two steps. So another way to write that is 17, 0, 0, decimal, and then the following zeros. And we know that as 1,700. We can also look at it on the, the ladder. One, seven decimal, we need to move to the right. We don't have anything there, so we need to add our zero, and our answer is 1,700 centimeters. And I'm going to write that in CM for short. Okay, let's try problem number two, and this is a good point to pause. Try this by yourself. See if you can get it. We have 300. There it is. We have a decimal point there. We need to change that to liters. So we're going to go one, two, three, since liters is the base, and we're going to move that decimal point three times. So again, if we have it here, we have an endless supply of zeros. We move it one, two, three. So now you see the decimal point is going to be after one, two, three, four, five zeros. So our answer is one, two, three, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. So our answer is 300,000 liters. And that's a capital L for liters. Okay, we do the exact same thing again for our third problem. Okay, we started with 20,000 milligrams. And we want to get to decagrams. Now make sure you double check. It's decagrams. So we're going to move left two three four steps now the difference is i'll write this large here our decimal point is here and we want to move to the left since we went up the ladder our decimal point is going to move up the ladder we said one two three four steps so one two three four so our decimal point is going to move right after the two so our answer is going to be two and we don't need those zeros. They're just showing us more detail here. The tenths, the hundredths. Okay, and the, our answer is two decagrams. All right. So two decagrams is our answer. And again, we move the decimal point to the left since we went up the ladder. Now let's do our last problem together. Point zero eight kilometers. Okay, so we wrote that above, and we're trying to get to centimeters. Okay, how many steps down? One, two, three, four, five steps. Again, we're moving to the right, and we still have an endless supply of zeros, and we want to move one, two, three, four, five steps, I believe. So our decimal point is going to sit right there. So after that, Third zero after the eight, so we're gonna have zero eight zero 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 decimal point. We can have those zeros. And a easier way to write that is this doesn't need to be there. It'd be a placeholder if we had a whole number in front of it. Our answer is eight thousand. And we can see the move. If you want to see the move here, decimal point moves to the right. So it's gonna be point eight. This would be a whole number eight. This would be eighty eight hundred. 8,000, just to double check here. So our answer is 
thousand centimeters. All right, I hope you managed to get that. If not, go back, try the problems by yourself, see if they work out, and I'm hoping you go the correct direction on the ladder. You've seen my practice problems, you've seen me go through a couple, whether I was going to a larger or smaller amount, now's your time to practice. Here are a couple problems. See if you can solve them on your own. You might want to hit pause. I'm going to put up the answers briefly. All right, here come the answers. You gotta put up a quick ladder. Okay, I'm going for milliliters, and I'm gonna go to liters. So that's one step, two steps, three steps. And I'm going to the left. So one, two, three. Answers two point four liters. Okay, now I'm gonna go from twenty-five grams base unit to milligrams. That's one, two, three steps to the right. One, two, three, decimal point would be after that 25,000 milligrams. Now we're going to go from 17 milliliters to centiliters. We're only going one step to the left. 1.7. 7 kilometers. And we're going to move to meters. That's one, two, three spots to the right. So seven, one, two, three, 7,000 meters. 750 kiloliters. We're going to liters. One, two, three. Seven, five, zero. The decimal point moves. One, two, three. Seven thousand five. Seven hundred fifty thousand kiloliters to liters. One, two, three. Again. One, two, three. Our answer is two liters. Hope you guys got the same answers I did.